My next guest is the Bo Jackson of media and that he's a two sports star in TV and radio, technically three sports if you count his best selling books. The point is, this guy has come a long way since I took him under my wing here at Fox News. And Sean Hannity joins us now to say thank you. Shawnee! I could, I would not be here without you. You're the only guy that's going to get me up late on a Saturday night on TV. That is how much I love you. And that's how good friends we are. No, we Jimmy are. Jimmy Fallon, congratulations on the show. I'm here on, late on a Saturday night because <laughs> that's how much I care. No, but I, I don't know that I'd have this show without you, but, but seriously, thank you. And I want you to know this because it truly blows my mind. When I was a cab driver, right. I obviously listened to you in my cab for three hours a day. The idea that right. I now appear on your show, let alone scalp tickets <laughs> outside the studio behind your back, that blows my mind, Sean. <laughs> that blows, but it's good to see you. Well, if everybody knew your life story, I mean, honestly, there's a book there from, from cab driver to TV star uh -huh. uh, because your life story is amazing. I love every aspect of it. Uh -huh. I love asking you about all the crazy people you <laughs> ran into when you were a cab driver <laughs> because that's pretty much 98% of the people in New York, which is one of the reasons I don't live in New York anymore. Yeah, I'm now a full-time resident of Florida. Uh -huh. So I heard that, but here's my concern, okay? You don't look okay. very Florida. There's no mullet. Where is the Hannity mullet? <laughs> and the sleeves are still still on the shirt. Are you sure you're in Florida? I, I am 100 percent sure I'm in Florida. <laughs> I, I have videotape evidence every day. All right. You know, no. uh, as I'm sure they'll be looking. I will say this. Mm -hmm. You are great. Now, I, I have no idea where this segment's going tonight. Neither do I. I, I come in with. <laughs> that was Hannity. a great line. You are now off the meter. Watch this. So I'm going to ask you a series of personal questions. The answers will stay between you and me. Okay. Okay. As you mentioned, I was a former New York City cab driver before I got into this. What was your toughest right. job before media? Toughest gig? T none of them were tough. Mm -hmm. You know, from the time I was eight years old, I had a paper out. Uh -huh. At 12, I was washing dishes in a busy restaurant by hand. They didn't have uh -huh. a, a dishwashing machine. <laughs> I was a I was a cook, late night cook at 13 and, uh -huh. you know, live uh, stuffed lobsters and, and shrimp scampi <laughs> and fettuccine game? and steaks. Is your cooking game I good? What? Can you cook well? Yeah, Are you no, still I, good? I, to the, I, I prefer to always eat my own meals. I'm uh -huh. very, very, you know, precise on my diet. I'm okay. very keto friendly. OK. This but sounds... I, I loved it all. When I was a house painter, I loved being a house painter. I loved uh -huh. all of it. Yeah. Well, this when you talk about keto, it sounds like you're giving me another one of your fat interventions for Jimmy Fallon. I don't appreciate that. <laughs> Let's stay on message here. I didn't, here. didn't say that. I kid. Uh, how about this one? Has Sean Hannity ever sang karaoke? Yes, Sean Hannity. Not only have I sung karaoke, okay, but when I used to do freedom concerts mm -hmm. with country stars, in this case uh, Charlie Daniels, uh -oh. I'd get up on stage in a full stadium. Uh -huh and sing The Devil Went Down to Georgia oh, no. with Charlie. <laughs> and you could pull it up on YouTube, it's there. Oh my goodness, I love this so much. Well, thinking, <laughs> speaking of things that are on tape, South Carolina Senator Tim Scott told me that Rocky Three, the one with Clubber Lang, is the best Rocky. Now, is that true, or did Tim Scott just cost himself the vice presidency? Uh, I, I don't really know. That's actually, it was a great episode. Look, I, I'm, a, I'm a Sly fan. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, he moved to Florida. Yes. Uh, hint, Jimmy, you <laughs> might want to get rid of the cab thing. Um, but I, will, I, I thought the series overall was great. Mm -hmm. I have one scene that I really love, mm -hmm. and that's when Rocky gives a speech to his son. Uh -huh. You know, life's not all about, you know, cotton candy, sunshine, and rainbows. Yeah. Nothing's going to hit harder than life itself, and it's not a matter of how hard you get hit. It's a matter about how hard you get hit Dude, and keep this. moving forward. <laughs> And that's what that's what living's all about. All right, I'm going to stop you He's before right. before I I'm going to stop you before the studio starts shadow boxing. That was very inspirational. <laughs> Last question, okay? You yeah. are uh, you are supportive of law enforcement uh, on a heroic level. That being said, my question for you is: Which Fox News talent would make the best cop? Oh man, <laughs> there's there's a lot of them. Um, hmm, mm. I, probably. 
Greg Gutfeld. Gut, your friend. Gut, stop it. But he couldn't drive. Gutfeld. But he couldn't drive and reach the pedals. Gutfeld. So you're going to have to make him a beat cop. <laughs> oh, man. I can't. You're, uh, well, you know I love you're Greg. You're too harsh on him. Dude, Be I would nice have a to career were it not for him. Final question. Tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day. Over, under on beers for Sean Hannity. Over, under, uh, probably over, under vodka, maybe three, three or four. <laughs> That's why we love you, Shawnee. This is a big deal. I owe you we big love you for back. this. Thank you, brother. Be well. Wow. Happy Saturday night. This is better than anything else I could think of I'd be doing. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Great stuff, man. We'll always have this. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.